Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make the best balloon arch that you can make at the most affordable price. If you're on a super strict budget, I've added a link in the description to a frameless balloon arch, but keep in mind these balloon arches are not very stable and have to be placed indoors. It also takes more time and precision to make a frameless balloon arch, so I highly recommend the balloon arch that I'm about to show you, which I've also linked in the description below, which is easier to assemble, can be placed indoors or outdoors, and looks more professional. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about this amazing balloon arch frame. It's lightweight yet very sturdy. It breaks down into a much smaller compact size and it's much more affordable than professional balloon arch suppliers. If you don't mind, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps my channel and it's a free way that you can show your support. You can also subscribe to my channel for some more balloon tutorials, personal finance, and business tips and how you can turn this fun skill set into a part-time or full-time job. Whether this is your first balloon arch or your 50th balloon arch, I believe in you. You are gonna kill it. With your curious and creative mind, the limits to your imagination are endless. It's important to know why this is the best way to build a balloon arch, so let me tell you why I've been using this balloon arch method for years, and let's compare it to some other methods of building balloon arches. Number one, balloon arches with an internal frame look more professional, are easier to build, and they take less time. There are some occasions where I'll combine techniques of a frameless balloon arch with a framed balloon arch. I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but for a professional looking easy to build balloon arch, this balloon frame is going to be your best friend. Secondly, since we know balloon arches look best with an internal frame, let's compare prices. The balloon arch we're going to be using today is under $30. Here's what professional balloon suppliers charge for a balloon arch frame. $450 bucks plus tax plus shipping, which doesn't include balloons and doesn't break down to a more manageable size. That's an absolutely ludicrous price to pay and it brings me to my next point. This professional balloon arch frame comes in several five foot pieces that are heavy metal poles that don't break down into a smaller size in two two foot by two foot heavy metal bases. This takes several trips to and from your car once you're at an event site lugging these materials unless you're also bringing around a wagon with you. This large and heavy setup certainly would not allow you to travel across the country on a commercial airline. The incredibly designed balloon arch frame that we're going to be using today is made up of a lightweight flexible rod that are held in place by a short piece of PVC that fits securely into the plastic base. The bases are weighted with durable, refillable, reusable water bags for easy transport. This frame is so transportable that when I got booked for some events out of town, I fit two of these balloon arches four balloon column frames, and my electric balloon inflator inside a standard size backpack and flew across the country. This frame is a dream come true in the transportability department. And number four, quality. When we're talking about anything cheap or affordable, we definitely need to take into account the quality of the material. Is it gonna break easily? Do the parts fit correctly? Fortunately for us, this flexible rod is sturdy and bendable and I haven't had any issues with it breaking. The small section of PVC fits snugly and securely into the plastic base and I haven't had any issues of it separating from the plastic base or the flexible rod coming out of the PVC. I also haven't had any issues with the water bags even after multiple uses. For the quality, affordability, and transportability, this balloon arch frame is an amazing option for building your balloon decor. If you're looking for the absolute best way to build balloon columns, check out my balloon column tutorial video in the description for the most revolutionary, innovative balloon column design that I've seen in my 13 years of doing balloon decor. In addition to this magnificent, simple, affordable, high quality balloon frame. Some supplies you're going to need for this build are 120 12 inch balloons. If you're going to use four colors, you're going to need about 30 of each color, but make sure to get extra just in case some pop during your build. If you don't already have a dual nozzle electric balloon inflator, I highly recommend one, even if this is the only balloon decor that you do in your entire life. It allows you to inflate two balloons at once and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of breath. Those are all the supplies you need. Now that you know the best way to build a balloon arch, don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to our channel for some more balloon tutorials and business tips and let's get started. The first thing I do is fill up my water weights. I've used water sources at event locations that include automatic sinks, water fountains, water bottle refillers, a spigot in a janitor's closet, a hose outside. These are all super annoying. It also takes time away from your build to figure out with the event host where you're going to fill up these water weights. Unless you know exactly what kind of water source you're going to have on site, fill up your bases at home beforehand to save you and the event host time and hassle. Next, put together
together your bases. The best way to make sure these are nice and secure is to place the base flat on the ground and then put your body weight on the PVC until it hits the floor. This is a very snug fit, so I generally have to apply a decent amount of force to get the PVC all the way to the bottom of the base. Do not do this on grass or your PVC is gonna go straight through the base and into the ground. You'd think I was speaking from experience or something. Put the water weights over the PVC pieces onto the plastic base. In this video, I'm using two water weights that are smaller than the standard water weight that comes with the balloon arch frame. So you'll only need one water base for each side using the one that comes with the frame. Sometimes these water weights are not cut in the middle where the PVC is supposed to stick through. So use a pin, a knife, or some scissors and cut that little piece out so that your PVC can fit through. But be careful and do not cut your water weight open or you're gonna have to figure out a different source of weight. Also speaking from experience. Separate your bases 10 to 15 feet apart and start unfolding your flexible rod and begin piecing it together. The rod has a flexible band on the inside of it, so as you're unraveling this, a lot of the pieces will fit together on their own. You can piece together all of the sections of this rod before you put one end into the PVC, or put one end of the rod into the PVC and put the sections together as you go. Whatever works best for you. After you have your balloon arch frame set up, it's time to start inflating your balloons. My color scheme is two red balloons separated by a white and black balloon, so I'm going to need about 60 red balloons and 30 of each white and black balloons. You could end up needing a little more or a little less depending on how much you inflate your balloons and how closely you attach them onto the frame. I'm going to inflate two red balloons at a time and then tie them together. Then I'm going to inflate a white and a black balloon at the same time and tie them together. Then I'm going to attach both of these pairs together by twisting one balloon of each pair around each other about three times to create a cluster of four balloons called a quad. Quads are the basic building block of a lot of the balloon decor that you'll see on my channel. You can probably see why an electric balloon inflator is such a valuable and convenient piece of equipment to have. To attach our first quad to the frame, we'll need to flatten the quad and arrange the two red balloons on the same side. Then we're going to slide the quad onto the frame between a red balloon and a different color. Don't slide it onto the frame between the two red balloons. Whichever two balloons you slide the arch frame between, twist those two balloons to swap their positions. This attaches the quad to the frame and orients the balloons how I need them, which is two red balloons across from each other separated by a white and a black balloon. For the second quad, use the same technique. Make sure to line up your colors so that they are going in the same upward spiral direction. If you're using four different colors and your colors are not lining up, rearrange the colors so that all the colors are spiraling up to the left or up to the right. For the rest of the quads, attach them to the frame in the same way and make sure your spiral for each color is going in the same direction the entire way. To move the arch after you've finished adding the balloon quads, there are two ways to do it. If you have another person around, you each can grab under the plastic base with one hand and reach through the balloons to grab the flexible pole to stabilize it with the other hand. Make sure to cover the bottom of the plastic base with your first hand to prevent the rod from sticking through. If you place the arch down and your base is not sitting flatly on the ground, it's probably because your flexible rod is sticking through the bottom of the base a little bit. So wiggle around that bottom section a little bit and pull it up so that your your base can sit flat on the floor. So that's pretty much the best and most affordable way to make a professional looking sturdy balloon column that can be placed indoors or outdoors. If you found this tutorial helpful or informative, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm that really helps my channel and it's a super simple free way that you can show your support. Subscribe to my channel for some more balloon tutorials, personal finance, and to learn how you can turn this fun hobby into a lucrative side hustle. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and good luck with your balloon arch build. I believe in you, you're going to do great. Stop by my channel every Monday and Friday, occasionally a Wednesday for new videos, or make it easy on yourself by hitting that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Here are just a few other tips to help you build a successful, durable balloon arch. If your flexible rod segments are pulling apart, you can always tape each of those joints to make sure that the arch retains its shape. It takes a little bit longer during your build and to break down, but it will make sure that your arch stays intact. When you're inflating your balloons, inflate them with the same temperature air that the arch is going to be set up in. This will prevent popping throughout your event. If you're inflating your balloons indoors in a cool area on a hot summer day and then you bring your arch outside, the hot air is going to expand the air in the balloons and it's going to make those balloons more likely to pop. If your arch is going to be outdoors in an open area with large gusts of wind, I highly recommend connecting all of your quads together with fishing line. This can be done before you attach it to the flexible rod frame or even afterwards. You can use ribbon or fishing line to do this and to 
especially in these conditions, you'll most likely need to secure the top of the arch with some fishing line and attach it on both sides to make sure that your arch is not wobbling back and forth with big gusts of wind. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful. Good luck on your balloon arch build and I'll see you next time.